This short video shows how to properly set up, connect, and operate the Nanin RuspSense Capnography Monitor and the LifeSense Capnography and Pulse Oximetry Monitor. The RespSense monitor uses side-stream, non-dispersive infrared spectroscopy to continuously measure end tidal CO2 and respiration rate. Nanin Medical's RespSense capnograph with proven CO2 detection technology offers the earliest indicator of an adverse breathing event. The LifeSense Capnography and Pulse Oximetry Monitor adds SpO2 and pulse data collection for all-in-one respiration rate, pulse rate, carbon dioxide, and oxygen saturation monitoring. The capnography functions are the same on both the RespSense and LifeSense models. The additional LifeSense SpO2 and pulse function will be described later in this video. Both monitors can be used with a nasal cannula or with a sample line attached to an endotracheal or tracheostomy tube via a T-connector and side port. Use only non approved sample lines available from non Medical. The monitor has a wide touchscreen for easy programming and operation. It can be run with a non provided power supply attached to standard AC wall power or internal rechargeable battery pack. Using an incorrect power supply can give inaccurate results or damage the unit. The capnography monitor is ideal for both stationary and mobile monitoring applications, as well as for continuous monitoring or spot checks. All operations are performed on the touchscreen display. Setup consists of a monitor, moisture trap with filter, nasal cannula or T-connector and sample line, and the power supply. Moisture traps, filters, and sample lines are single-use components and disposed of after each patient use. Start each patient with a new sample line, moisture trap, and filter. Remove the used moisture trap from the monitor by pulling on the tab to snap it out of the housing. Then remove the filter. Open the new moisture trap and filter and place the filter into the slot on the top of the trap. Insert the moisture trap into position on the side of the monitor. Use the marks in the trap opening on the monitor as a guide to properly insert the trap. It will snap into place. Have a supply of replacement moisture traps and filters on hand. Three sizes of nasal cannula are available for adult, pediatric, and infant use. Place the nasal cannula and snugly attach the sample line to the moisture trap using the lure lock stem on the trap. T-connectors and sample lines for patients on supported ventilation are also available. We also recommend using nafion tubing for ventilated patients receiving added humidification to reduce moisture buildup. Proper sample line placement and routing help prevent kinking occlusions or moisture buildup in the sample line. Keep the sample line clear of monitoring, IV, or other lines attached to the patient. Turn on the RespSense monitor by pressing the on-off button in the upper right corner until you hear a beep. The monitor will run a brief self-test. After a few seconds, you will see several entry selection screens to choose initial settings. Alarms remain inactive for two minutes after starting the monitor. The first screen allows you to enable or disable alarms. The Disable Alarms icon drops all minimum alarm values to zero. You will then see the main screen. The Enable Alarms icon sets alarms to the default limits. The next screen lets you choose the patient size. You will then see the main monitoring screen. Alarm limits will appear on the display. The monitor always resets to the default alarm limits for your selected patient size at power-up. The default alarm limits are available in the operator's manual.
You must reset the alarm values to your chosen limits if they are different than the default settings. Limits are easy to reset. Simply press the up or down arrow in the bar next to each value to scroll or tap to the desired value. Remember, if you turn the monitor off, alarm settings will return to the default limits at the next startup. The monitor is now ready for use and will display data on the screen. You can see the patient's end tidal CO2 value and respiration rate on the display. The trend graphs indicate the end tidal CO2 and respiration rate trends for the last one and a half hours, with markers at half hour increments. The monitor will alarm if the end tidal CO2 or respiration rate goes outside of your set limits or if no breath has been detected for 25 seconds. You will hear a rapid beep sequence and a flashing of the limit exceeded on the display. Other alarms with a slower beep speed may occur, indicating an equipment-related event you need to resolve. You can silence the audio alarm for two minutes by pressing the alarm silence button. A second press will resume the audible alarm. The audible alarm and screen message will stop once the problem is resolved or readings are within the alarm limits. The battery charge level displays a black bar in the battery icon. The display will indicate when you must recharge the battery. The monitor can run up to 8 hours on the internal battery when fully charged. The battery will charge when the unit is plugged into wall power, whether the monitor is in use or turned off. The charge indicator will illuminate green when the battery is charging. The LifeSense Capnography and Pulse Oximetry Monitor has a cable connector on the right side of the monitor to attach a non in Pure Light brand SPO2 sensor. The LifeSense monitor is designed for use with non-in brand sensors only. Do not use the LifeSense unit with other brand sensors and follow the sensor instructions for use for proper sensor placement and care. SpO2 and pulse rate displays on the left side of the screen along with the ET, CO2 and respiration data. Following use, you can clean the monitor with a soft cloth moistened with isopropyl alcohol. Allow the monitor to dry completely before use. Complete information for RespSense and LifeSense monitors can be found in the operator's manual provided with each product. A nurse call cable, Nonin's Transense data collection module, and Nonin's Sense DAC cable for sleep labs are available for use with the RespSense and LifeSense monitors connected at the serial port. You can find additional use information on this and other Nonin products at www.nonin.com.